Hello, and thank you for joining me um, in today's webinar all about crystal entertainment. Um, I have to say um, our entertainment is really special on crystal, and it's one of the reasons that we've won so many awards and continue to win so many awards. Uh, there's a lot of choice. And uh, when we had our multi-million refurbs um, a couple of years ago, we really changed the entertainment so that it wasn't just always based in the main showroom and wasn't always about Broadway and West End shows. Um, to coincide with the flow of our open dining, we've created a flow of entertainment throughout the ship. So that can be from one end of the ship to the other, from a tango lesson right through to um, uh singing uh, to our Broadway shows, to classical music, opera, a real variety of choice. And as I said, a really nice flow throughout the ship. So the bars haven't changed, which as I'm pleased to say, because they, they are, I love the bars on, on Crystal. And um, I'm going to start with Crystal Cove. This is very much my pre-dinner cocktail um, bar. And the reason being is because it's situated right in the main atrium, which is absolutely beautiful, with the waterfall right next to the waterside, the main restaurant. So it's a great place for meeting your friends and family before you head into dinner. And also a great place for people watching, because just out of view there, you can't see it, is the main stairs and the big grand staircase. And so when it's a formal night, it's great to people watch and see what everything everybody is wearing. Um, another night that's really becoming popular on our ships is our white night. And it clues in the title there, um, what you wear. Um, but visually, this is one of the areas that they really um, put on a great spectacle. So uh, I really, really enjoy spending time here then as well. And what kind of uh, music we can see, there's a pianist in the background tends to be more kind of classical music, maybe a little bit of jazz, very much kind of background music. Um, but they do have some amazing quartets that come on. And the nice thing is, you know, whilst, you know, we can all appreciate a little bit of classical music, it, you know, I wouldn't uh, condone, I would not an expert in classical music. And, you know, the great thing is they play for all types. So all of a sudden you'll hear a Michael Jackson song or Footloose um, and the quartet are playing it, you know, and it's, so it's a really, really fun atmosphere. I also like uh, to spend a little bit of time in the cove when they have the band come in. So they make room for the band and then the area just in front of the waterfall there, in front of the statue becomes a dance floor. And this is really, really fun because I think it's quite a small environment. It creates a really great atmosphere. Um, you will find, especially if you do our ballroom or our themed um, uh, jazz cruises, then there's pretty much dancing down here every single night. Um, but like I said, they're usually about once a week um, on the ship. They'll, they'll bring the, jazz, the band down. And like I said, it creates a really, really fun atmosphere. Another um, experience I'll never forget is an operatic service here in the main atrium. The acoustics are great. So why not? Everybody was on the balcony all up above drinking champagne. It was just a really, really special moment. So that's the Crystal Cove. We now go to my second favourite. Or oh, actually, is it my second favourite? It's well, it's my post um, dinner uh, cocktail bar. And um, actually, I think it might be my favourite. Um, and the reason I really like it, it's got a great atmosphere. It's probably the smallest bar. Um, and because of that, um, like I said, it creates a really, really lovely atmosphere. It tends to be, as I mentioned, after, after dinner. And if anybody's been to kind of a Las Vegas style piano bar, that's very much the feel and theme of um, Avenue Saloon. Uh, as you walk in, the pianist, as they've got to know you, because everyone's different and we'll all find a little part of the ship that we fall in love with. And so, you know, you tend to meet the same people, make, meet your new friends in the same bars. So as they get to know you, as you walk in, the pianist will play your favorite song and, um, I have been known to occasionally, in the early hours of the morning, have a little sing-along with the pianist, luckily when most guests have gone to bed, because we don't want to ruin our repeat business on Crystal. But, um, yeah, and, you know, the very, you know, the whole lovely um, ambience on board Crystal is the fact that it's all-inclusive. So that ranges from champagne to fine wines to cocktails. Espresso martini is my favourite cocktail. 
And because there's such a high guest to staff ratio, when you walk in to the bar, you don't have to go and stand at the bar. I'll go and sit with my friends, have some have had a nice dinner. And then he's already brought over, or she has already brought over the espresso martini. They also know that I'm only allowed one. They try and get me to have another one, but it all goes wrong if I have more than one espresso martini. Um, so that's Avenue Saloon. Now, this is exclusive just on Crystal Symphony. It's the Starlight Club, and it's right in the middle of the ship. It's a great little meeting point. Um, the great thing about cruising is everyone goes off and does different things. So somebody might want to go and see a Broadway show. Um, Grandma and Granddad might want to be upstairs doing a bit of Foxtrot and Palm Court. And the younger ones might have gone to the cinema to see a, a new film, and then they all meet up for dinner. Or perhaps they've gone off to different restaurants, you know, um, into to Umi Uma, Nobu, and all the different restaurants, and they've come to meet for dinner afterwards. So great little hub of meeting. Um, you will find here that um, this is mainly where the band play, um, but also you'll be walking along, maybe on your way to dinner, and all of a sudden there's a tango Um going on and you sit down have a little pre-dinner drink and watch an amazing tango performance also also afterwards because this is in the center down below um this is where the after hours actions happens and the band is, is often replaced by um a dj and it becomes a bit of a late night disco because there is no nightclub on symphony on serenity there is a nightclub um and uh tends to get used mostly when we're hosting fam trips, I will admit that. Um, but also another um, room to, uh, event room to tell you about is the Stardust Club. So this is only on Crystal Serenity. And whilst it is used as a supper club for kind of like a Frank Sinatra S style um, jazz themed uh, evening, this is only available on the formal night. So what do we do with this um, venue that's at the front of the ship when it's not a formal night? Well, it, it's really come into its own, actually. Um, as you can see in the distance there, there's lots of little um, cocktail tables. You can sit around the cocktail tables. The band moves back into, into the, um, up onto the stage, and that becomes the dance floor. And it's really good fun, because whilst traditionally we do tend to do all our dancing up on Palm Court, and that's where we have all our dance lessons throughout the day with our crystal dance hosts, Actually, this is right next to Avenue Saloon and right by um, all the speciality restaurants. So it's in a really great um, hub for the entertainment in the evening. It's got a really good atmosphere. And so we're finding, you know, people are, dance hosts are actually quite a few are situated down here. And people tend to, after a few cocktails, would give anything a go, really. So, um, yeah, having tango lessons and, and jive lessons um, in the after dinner as well. Work off some of that food. Why not? Now, of course, the main entertainment happens in our show lounge, and they're both called Galaxy Lounge. They're both um, available on, on both ships. And what I would say to your customer is have a look at the Reflections magazine, which hosts all our entertainment and tells you what's happening in what venue at what time. Because we're now open dining, um, there isn't always two sittings and two showings. So sometimes it will be one longer showing um, and there'll only be, they'll do one or maybe the other times they will do two, but you just need to make sure that you you um, book into your dining um, around the show if there's a show that you really want to see. The popular ones that still remain popular, Elton John, Billy Joel, Illuminate, um, where the lights all go off and they dance Daft Punk to the amazing music. I think they want America's Got Talent. Um, and of course, we get local acts that come on, for example, Irish dancing. And um, we've collaborated with Tony Award winner Kevin McCollum um, to bring you his productions um, on board. So, for example, Rent the Musical and Motown, uh, just a, a couple. He's got a long list that he's brought on board. And so that's been a really, really fantastic uh, collaboration that Crystal have put together for our customers. And when we had our refurb, one of the things that also happened was um, we spent a lot of money um, upbringing our designing, our lighting, our sound as well. Then we have Palm Court. I really enjoy Palm Court. For those that haven't been on Serenity since the refurb, it's been brought very much in line with Symphony's look. And I absolutely love it. It's very contemporary, very light up here. So, you know, this is the front of the ship. Great to, to sneak up here and read a book 
have a cup of tea and just have a little moment to yourself. Um, or it can be very busy because this is where we serve afternoon tea as well. And then, as I said, in the evening, if we're sailing, it's a really nice spot to come up and have a little bit more of a romantic experience up in the um, cocktail bar. We really um, used it last time we were on board. Um, like I said, every time you go on a cruise, you kind of fall in different, and um, Crystal, you fall in love with different areas of the ship. And um, this will always have a singer up there. And then, like I said, in the afternoons or in the daytime, during whichever time, they'll have dance lessons. And it's you can't see it. It's just out of shot, just around the corner. But there is a beautiful teak dance floor um, where you can, those that can impress and show off with their foxtrot skills, there's always lots of male hosts for our female dancers or their husbands don't want to dance um, or maybe they're solo travellers. And then on our specially designed dance themed cruises, we have female hosts for the men as well. So we don't leave them out. There's only one area where you can sit inside and um, enjoy smoking. And this is our brandy and connoisseur and cigar room. And um, yeah, all other smoking is, is outside as to be expected. The nice thing about this, it is very much enclosed. And for those that don't smoke and for those that do smoke, it's right next to Avenue Saloon. So it's got really, you know, probably one of the best atmospheres on the ship um, as far as liveliness. So you've just got a really nice atmosphere. And Hollywood Theatre. And this just shows the, the variety that's available on Crystal. Uh, the Hollywood Theatre plays all the latest releases as well as the old classics. Now, I remember a travel agent saying to me, Nats, whenever we are booking a customer that's going to be on for sort of more than 15, 16 nights, we always recommend Crystal because there's just so much to do in the daytime and in the evening. And, you know, actually, I didn't go to the cinema until I think my third or fourth cruise, and it was in December, and Mary Poppins had just come out of the cinema. And brilliant i went on board and i saw it on on board the ship it was great if you've been traveling for quite a while with your partner that might be just the tonic that you need to just go and have a little night um to the cinema or maybe the two of you you don't have to talk and just sit back watch a movie you can watch um, a lot of our movies on demand as well in your um, stateroom on our um on demand tvs and if you're on our yacht and River, you can also watch all the demand movies on your iPad and they can move obviously around the ship and up onto the top deck with you. And you can um, download newspapers and all the latest updates and things like that. Um, on the ships, we have a library. I haven't got a picture of it, but the library is a really great meeting place um, to get all your local newspapers. And also we hold magic classes in our library. So it's not just all about books as well. And the going in, you know, the magic classes tend to be held in the day, in the evening and talking about what happens in the day. So all these venues that I've just shown you become a lecture point for the day. And the lectures really vary. Um, again, it's not just about entertainment, it's very much about the enrichment throughout the day. So that could be learning a new language um, to art classes. So the art classes won't be held in a class format like this. They will be held up in the Lido Lounge, up on the top deck with the beautiful views, perhaps of Sorrento. Maybe you fancy taking up bridge um, or learning how to, to become, you know, using Computer University at sea, learning how to get the best out of your cameras, iPads, very much technology focused, which are always really, really popular with our customers. And then our lecture series. And these really really are again very broad like our entertainment so we have special themed cruises so we'll have food and um wine themed cruises well we'll have for example our speciality chef nobu will come on board and imagine that learning how to cook with nobu what an experience um right through to as i mentioned wine cruises golf cruises but you know even on a standard cruise we'll have for example astronauts come on people that talk about what's going on in the current climate um let's talk about global warming um you know so really topical conversations as well of course you know i'm talking i'm relating a lot to my cruises i've done around italy so you'll go to a lecture all about Pompeii so that when the next day that you go to see it is brought extra, um, a little bit extra to life because you've learned all about it. And if you've missed one of the lectures, then you can just have breakfast in bed and watch it on in your um, television, on your flat screen TV in the morning. You don't have to go to one of the lectures to get all the experience from them. 
you need to keep fit, fit and well, of course, um, all that lovely food. So there's the running track up on the top and then down below on deck seven, you've got the promenade deck three times around. That is a mile if you walk three times. You have the spa. That's the only thing that's not included along with shore excursions. And of course, if you want to get your hair and your nails done, all these facilities are available. The gym, I tend to not go at night. I tend to go in the morning. And if, if I do go, <laughs> I try to go. Really great gym. Um, there's always a member of staff there. But what I really like is the Pilates, the yoga classes, the spin classes. And again, these are available on our river and our yacht. They tend to be up on the deck where they're permitting. Um, the other thing you can pay for is a personal trainer. We get a lot of our world cruises. You can understand why all that lovely food on, you know, 100 days will book in a personal trainer. Outside area, let's be honest, we're on holiday. We just want to chill, read a book, drink a cocktail. Um, so you've got that running deck. Um, in the distance there, you can see the tennis courts. And behind us is the golf course. We have a PGA golf instructor on most 98% of our cruises, so pretty much all our cruises. And you've got the nets, and they'll teach you how to get your perfect swing. We have specific golf cruises. And of course, a little bit of tennis. Why not? And if your partner will not refuse to play with you, there's always a section where I think it's the F and B manager. He loves a game of tennis, so he will he will play with you. Because let's be honest, they need they're on for a long time, so so they want to keep fit and healthy themselves. So really, everything that you could possibly need to enjoy your experience, and why Crystal is an award winning. Cruise. And I'll just leave you with a picture of some customers having a little stroll pre-dinner while the sun sets. So many cruise lines um, have done away with their beautiful promenade decks and um, I think it's one of the best features on Crystal Cruises. So I hope you've enjoyed learning all about the entertainment and um, we're here to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much.